Did he say what he wanted? Something about those boxes of files. Didn't you hear, Weber? About the plane crash. Thanks, Mr. Todd is dead. Did you check those files? General Cypher's files, you mean? Yes. Did you check them, Captain Voss, before you took them into your care? Took them into my care? Did you, Captain Voss? Did you? Well, they weren't mine to check. Uh, and even if they were, I mean, I wouldn't check a large amount of files. I mean, they'd have no regard to me. So who filled the boxes? We did not see them filled. You didn't! You put the boxes on the Heisman's plane, we don't! There are going to have to be some changes. You will be sent to Lisbon to install yourself as the military attaché and security officer in the German legation. When these changes come through, which could be next month, you will find yourself directly answerable to SS Colonel Reinhardt Bolters. He is not one of us, needless to say. But you must make him your friend. Sutherland and Rose are running the Lisbon station of the British Secret Intelligence Service. You will be talking to them directly, but procedure will be brief. There are some documents here which you should memorize before you go, and they contain important information about Microdot. Use this information to open negotiations with the British. You must convince them that we can be trusted that our intentions are honorable, and that the reverse is true of the Russians. Andrea landed in Lisbon at three in the afternoon. The adrenaline from the first flight still in her veins. Her first steps on foreign soil as Anne Ashworth. Wallace, Jim, Ashworth, Anne. We'll take the scenic route. The hills of Lisbon. This is Cardu's house. Your boss at Shell. But your other bosses you will see first. Sutherland and Rose. When the lives of two young spies unexpectedly collide. Carl Voss is an experienced officer. He thinks I'm just a secretary at Shell. He's been with military intelligence at Zutler's team in Brasenburg. He's worked with the Zossen headquarters at Berlin, Avenue Fonch in Paris. And he's now here in Lipson. Do you think for one moment, honestly, that he doesn't know how to play with, toy with the romantic illusions of a young woman? All I can tell you, sir, is that I haven't told. Have you? Have you had a relationship with Voss? There embarks a brief but intense love affair followed by a chain of lies and secrets leading to death. After death. Wow, this is great. something amongst thousands of depositions because it is in the nature of ordinary people to write things down when they shouldn't say things that they should never be said and babble uncontrollably when they're scared. Foss's chances are not good. If he's charged, he will appear in the so-called people's court presided over by the most disgraceful judge to ever find his way into law. Rosalind Fisher. Where, if the evidence is even vaguely positive, he will be sentenced to be executed. If 
he if it is not, he will certainly end up in a concentration camp somewhere. Or he's very unlikely to survive. Apart from what we have heard from Von Truberg, there is no other news. If I were you, Miss Ashworth, I forget him. Live your life. After all, that is the nature of war. Anne discovers the most agonizing war secrets come not from the government, but from those closest to you. <laughs> Do you know how to walk it out? Walk what out? Hear whether about the plane crash you mean? Okay, that's too close. They don't have it. Files. Ones that were on your desk. There will have to be some changes.